What if I told you there was something that you could do that you could improve your heart, your lungs, your muscles, your bones, your joints, your brain, your memory. I don't know. What do you think? Too much to think about. Well, I bet you think I might have a magic pill. But no, I'm going to talk about exercise. So when you hear the word exercise, did you think sweat, pain, exhaustion, or did you think fun, exhilarating, adrenaline rush? In other words, did your brain experience the fight or flight mode? Because you know that's where it starts, on whether your brain perceives exercise as positive or negative. So earlier today, I saw three people outside jogging. I was so motivated to get up and close the blinds. Oh, I just saw that on Pinterest, thought that was hilarious. So as a professor of exercise science and a certified personal trainer, I teach my students about the importance of physical activity. We talk about frequency, intensity, duration of exercise according to the National Strength and Conditioning Association. So, for example, a student that is healthy should exercise two to five times per week, all right, at an intensity level of 50 to 85 percent of their maximum heart rate for about 20 to 60 minutes. You can actually calculate your maximum heart rate by using the formula 220 minus your age. That formula is so important, and we do. We take it very seriously. However, we also know that individuals, we actually experience different physical stages of life. Our circumstances change as we age or we suffer an injury or an illness. So I know I have experienced those changes as an older adult. Exercise is not always a one plan fits all, all right? So the good news is, though, is that deconditioned individuals or people that are actually new to exercise can actually benefit from short bouts of exercise throughout the entire day. That's good news, right? So then we can add those minutes up and eventually your body will be able to exercise for longer periods of time. You know the old saying, use it or lose it? Well, it's absolutely true. Our bones, joints, and muscles, they adapt to whatever movements we do or we don't do. So, if we don't move, our joints become stiff, right, and immobile. Our muscle cells atrophy. Our bones weaken. It's that simple. And if we do the same movements over and over every day, our muscles actually adapt to that also. So if you actually want to improve your cardiorespiratory fitness, we have to change something in that frequency, intensity, and duration. But what's simple to change is the modality, the type of exercise that you're doing. Our muscles actually love change. They love surprises. So that's actually very, very healthy. So we're going to get back to why is exercise so important? Currently, we live in a society that is becoming more obese and less physically active. Even though we have all the how-tos on social media, we have every exercise app on our phones at our fingertips. So then again, I say, why exercise? Because when we exercise, our brain releases dopamine, which helps us to feel happy. And when we exercise, our brain releases serotonin, which helps us to feel relaxed and calm. And when we exercise, our heart and lungs work efficiently with less effort. 
and when we exercise, our overall mood improves. And oh, don't forget that our brain actually creates more brain cells when we exercise. I don't know about you, but I can use all the brain cells that I can get. Okay, so of course, exercise is only one component of a healthy body. But I believe we are divine creations and deserving of our best effort. So, like the great philosopher Real to Real says, we need to move it, move it. We need to move it, move it. Oh, we moved it. All right, so thank you, everybody, and have a good night. And don't forget to exercise.